What's going on guys? Welcome to today's episode where I had a good question asked of me today and that question was why cruise? Why not do PCT? Why cruise between cycles and not do a PCT and bring your testosterone back from nothing, your natural testosterone back from nothing? And this also stemmed off of somebody asking me a question about why do they lose so much of their gains when they come off cycle. And I said, well, what do you do after your cycle? And he said, well, I do PCT. And I said, that's why, <laughs> that's why you're losing so much of your gains. He said he didn't like taking DECA because he felt like he couldn't keep any of the gains that he created while being on DECA. And so, yeah, when I asked him, you know, what do you do after your cycle? And he said, PCT. I mean, I'm not surprised. Like, that's why. That's why the people that are serious about this, that's why the people that are trying to grow lots of muscle and, and stay, you know, big, <laughs> um, that's why we cruise. That's why we do TRT in between our cycles to maintain this new level of muscle mass that we have because a natural level of testosterone cannot support over 200 pounds of muscle mass on somebody that's five foot ten you know so you know right now i'm about uh the high 250s right now and um my trt dose is 200 milligrams per week right now and um like natty levels are considered around 50 to 100 milligrams a week is like a true natty level where you're only putting where you only have a like testosterone level of like 300 to 600 like that's where most of us really are naturally anyway but that can't support the amount of muscle that some of us want to maintain and so when you come off of a cycle of testosterone and deca and you go back to your natural levels like somebody that's doing like 400 milligrams of test a week is going to have a testosterone level of 3000 to 4000 on the scale when normal natural levels most guys you'll hear around the age of late 20s early 30s are between 300 and 600 is where they lie naturally now we're talking about having testosterone levels 5 to 10 times higher than what a natural normal level is. Now, when you go from that to, you know, operating at that level to zero, when you drop off everything, you go to zero and then your PCT brings you back up to like 300, maybe 400, maybe you can't expect to hold on to that muscle mass. Like that's why when we come off of a cycle, we do like 200 milligrams of testosterone and that takes us back down to like 1500, a level of 1500 on our test. So, which can maintain a very significant amount of muscle mass, you know? And somebody was asking me like what my thoughts are on how much testosterone you should use on a cruise. It depends on how much muscle you have. You know, I mean, if you are, think of it this way, if you're under 200 pounds, um, you don't need more than a hundred milligrams a week. Okay. If you're about 250 coming off cycle, you're probably good with about 200 milligrams a week. If you're like 300 pounds off cycle, you're probably good with 300 milligrams per week. If off, if uh, I mean off season, that's what I meant, not off cycle. If you're in your off season, if you're 350, 300 to 350, which most of us aren't, that's when you'd want to go to like the 400 milligrams of testosterone on a cruise. And that is basically where it peaks. You know, there's no reason to use any more than 400 milligrams of testosterone a week. And research has shown that that's the top end that we can handle and still be healthy using 400 milligrams of testosterone a week and not, you know, be wrecking our lipids, not be wrecking our liver enzymes. Testosterone doesn't have anything to do with that. So that's, that's all that. And that's why we cruise. Like I haven't 
been off of anything in an extremely long time. Now, if you're wondering, like, aren't you afraid that you won't be able to have kids? Well, no, I'm, I'm certainly not afraid that I won't be able to because I know that I'm very confident that I'll be able to. I'm not worried about that at all. Also, what I need is Novadex HCG and Clomid and then HM. B is it HMB HMG HMB something like that. All that that's that's what you need. You use those four things, and it brings your sperm back. Nothing to worry about here. That's it. That's all that I got for you today. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I want to let you know, just why why I I do what I do. Why a lot of us do what we do. But at the end of the day, this is a personal choice that you have to decide if it's worth it to you. You have goals in this fitness community to be, you know, bigger than the normal average guy, then you have to consider this. You have to consider, is this something that um, I need to do? Is this something that I need to endure? So, but yeah, I mean, the main reason that we even go off cycle is to get healthy to let our collect let our cholesterol get back to a healthy level let our lipids get back to a normal healthy level let our liver regenerate um, let our blood pressure recover so that our kidneys can take a breather and all of that so that's what i wanted to share with you guys today that's all I got. I'm gonna eat uh, meal three here and get on with my day. So I hope you guys learned something today. I hope this was somewhat informative for you. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe now. Leave a thumbs up because you know you like the video. Comment down below if you have any questions at all about any of this stuff. I usually answer 90% of the comments. So please comment down below. If you have a big question, email me at chaseirons.gmail.com and I'll get back to you. Now, as soon as I can, thank you so much for stopping by. And remember, nobody cares. Train harder, and I'll see you all Monday.